We're struggling. We should end every video with all the nonsense that we do to set up in the beginning. Yeah. All right, remember, Hannah, while you're editing, put all that nonsense at the end. I'm probably just going to put it at the beginning. But what about my end idea? Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. We have an exciting brand new series yep. for all of you. Yes. Monday Mailbag. Although... Came out of Shane's brain this morning. Monday Mailbag, I don't love that name. It is rather dull for like your typical, you know, naming style. Okay, ready? Can you put your fingers on either side of my head? That sentence could have gone anywhere. <laughs> ready? Monday Mailbag. Yeah. Monday... Um, Monday Fun Day. No. Monday... Grab bag, Monday, uh, Monday, grub bag, grub Okay, Monday grub bag is going to be a weekly series, which is now, it's now named Monday grub bag. Monday grub bag. Where we will answer a few of the many questions that we get every week. Yep. If you would like your question featured in a Monday Rub, I'm already forgetting the name. In a Monday rub bag video, yes. comment your question below. Yes. Maybe put like Monday rub bag in the. No. In the comment. No, you we'll can know. if you want to, but we'll know if it's a question. Don't. You don't need to write Monday grub bag. <laughs> I was getting too excited. <laughs> you have to do this hashtag. No, you're good. Uh, and we'll pick some each week to answer because it'll be a fun way to. Get out, but we get so many questions. Yeah, especially with new <laughs> followers on Instagram. A lot of them have questions that we've answered years and years ago, like four years ago. We have no idea what video we answered uh, random questions in. So like I can't direct people to videos. So we're just gonna do some some questions and some of them are totally new, so. I mean, a lot are new. Yeah, yeah. like here and there we might answer something that you already know if you've been a fan forever. Yeah, uh, but most it, of them are new. I, and if it's, an old question, it'll be our new take on that question. So. Yeah, because Lord knows we can't remember how we answered it the first time. It's going to be like, how did you meet? And we'll forget what we told them last time. And this time we'll be like, we were both at Space Camp. Not and, like that. All right, so to start Monday Drug Bag, I knew that name is tough. Yeah. It doesn't roll off the tongue. No, it doesn't, but you picked it. To start Monday Drug Bag, we have... A bunch of questions that Hannah got on Instagram. All right, Monday to your bed. All right, I've got our notes set up. Question number one. They're selected questions. Here we go. Okay. Hmm, Monday to your bed. Shane, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go out of order. Uh, what was it like seeing each other at the airport for the first time? Now, if you are a new viewer and do not know how we met, this is. We're not going to go into that part, but we did meet at the airport for the first time. We met at the airport. We both had connected flights <laughs> and... It was Christmas time. I saw her across the uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and that is where I would be. She had a bo box of Lovey. 40 donuts in front of her. <laughs> and she was picking which one to eat fifth. We're going <laughs> to... That is how I will do my donuts. However, I think we need to rein it in. I'm excited for Monday drug bag. Answer the question okay. truthfully, truthfully. What was it like seeing each other at the airport for the first time? Yeah, so Hannah had flown to Philadelphia to meet in person. Yes. We were going to hang out for like four days, I think, in P Pennsylvania where I lived. Yeah, you would think that Shane would park the car come inside, maybe with a sign, maybe with a teddy bear. Which I did do later on in our relationship. Let's just put that Yeah, a year there. later. I had a big old sign. If we have a photo, I'll put that here. But for the first medium, nope. Nope. Uh, he was like, oh, we're not there yet. So 45 minutes later of me standing by the airport door, he's like, we're coming around. And they just sort of swing by. <laughs> I throw my suitcase in the car and we drive off. The Philadelphia airport, if you know, is a very high pressure situation. Yes. You have about three seconds to pull over, get your passenger, and take off. Unless you park the car. 
before the police arrest you and throw you in jail is what it feels like. Uh-huh. We did not park the car. We were very late. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of traffic on I-95. So all of this to say that we met for the first time with me in the front seat of the car turning around to be like, hi, to and, Shane in the back. And me doing, no, no, no. <laughs> and uh, I was just like, hi, and I kind of tried to like... You let lean back. And yeah. We, kinda, we didn't reach for a kiss. No. So I could, it, I didn't even reach you for a hug. I was just like this. Like, oh. I was like, oh, okay. But like internally. Internally. It was like bursting of fireworks inside yeah. of my chest. My brother and his fiance at the time. No, girlfriend. Girlfriend at the time. Uh, I'm so weird like thinking about I know. Like now they're married, but anyway. No, girlfriend, yeah. They were both in a car because they didn't come along. My brother was helping drive. Yeah. Uh, and so like there, it was just a lot. Yeah. And I was very, very excited. I was terrified. <laughs> I was, you know, it I'm, was my first time flying alone. So it was just like. I'm sure my hands were sweating buckets. I'm sure they were. And then finally we all got to dinner and we all got out of the car. And that was when we were able to like, you know, have a kiss. We didn't kiss then. Oh, we kissed later. We kissed at night. home when we got yeah, home. Yeah, you're right. Shane barely remembers. We, we, <laughs> we kissed later that night. Probably because we didn't want really, to like, do it right in front of yeah, you. Yeah, it, it would have been really weird. In the parking lot, hold on. <laughs> They're trying a... to lock the car. <laughs> hold on, then. we have to have our first kiss. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We did that alone at home after. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But it was very, very exciting. That's what it was like, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Monday Drum Bag, number two. Next question. How is your book about interabled couples coming along? How timely. For the first time in a while. We have an update. It is coming along. Yeah. It's due in about three weeks. Yep. Two or three. I don't yeah. know what's at the calendar. It's, it's, good. Well, no. it's inching closer to two weeks. What's well, like three weeks? Uh, so we've been writing a lot in the last few weeks. Yeah. Um, and we're excited to have it done. I mean, it won't be done in three weeks. Then we move into The first like, draft will be done and yeah. then there'll be edits. Then we move into a long period of editing. But yeah. It's almost there. Yeah. Get excited. Exciting. It's going to be a beautiful book. Yeah, we've been interviewing more couples because we did a bunch of them like three years ago and then stopped for the pandemic and now we've been doing more uh, over Zoom and it's been, it's been so fun. Yeah. So we're really excited for the book. Okay. Uh, Monday Grub Bag Quail. Quail. Question. Well, Monday Grub Bag Quail. Question three is what I tried to say. See, it's because I looked at the word mailbag because that's what I had written down. Oh, so yeah, I said you should quail. Change, you should change that. In your I, notes. I'll, I'll change it. Um, here's a fun one. What's your favorite tree? <laughs> the, you know, we're bringing you the heavy who information asks, here. Who asks that? I, I just love that question. I mean, that is so strange. That's a very cute question. Yeah, it's a great question, and I have an answer. <laughs> Mine is the American plane tree. That was way Otherwise more specific. Otherwise known as the sycamore. Why does it have two names? I don't know. You don't know about your favorite tree? It just has two names. What is the American, why do you love the American because plane tree? Because I really love how the, the bark flakes off and it turns white. They're beautiful. The pretty. actual bark is beautiful. And just, you know, the, the shape of the tree itself yeah. is huge. Really, we had one in my front yard in Connecticut. Just love that kind of tree. My favorite tree that I am deciding on right now is a to the yes cedar nope weeping willow oh that's a good one i uh, my nana at their old house ha- used to have a big one in their front yard and, and this is weird but when i was a kid i liked to drive through like the whatever those are that hang down get the, a little tactile stimulation the, the weeps the weeps i would drive through the weeps and let them kind of like turn around my face you yeah. know what i mean i have a funny story about Weeping Willows. There was a park near my house in New Haven, Connecticut, that had tons and tons of weeping willows that were huge, like interesting. I, I guess back then it was normal, but it's kind of an interesting park. And I went there with my friend when we were eight, and my dad took us, and we wanted to grab the branches all together uh, and swing like Tarzan. Oh my God. I know. Those are endangered. No, they're not endangered, but we tried to, I was like, come on. And we like tried to do that. And my dad got so mad. He was like, you cannot do that to these trees. And I was like, okay, like really annoyed about it. And my friend tried one more time and then my dad yelled at her and he was like, stop it. <laughs> that's, so, that's very George for Yeah, you. he was protective of the trees. This is a fun fact about George. You know, Monday Grub Bag, Monday Grub Bag? Yes. 
It's going to have questions. It's going to have questions, answers, fun facts. It has it all. Monday Drum Bag. George is a, 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 this is serious, a, what's it called? Master, master Gardener. He's a master he went into the gardener. Yep. It's some kind of real certification that you can get. Yeah. Um, but he knows everything about plants. He loves plants. So that tracks that he would be like, yeah, don't do hurt not. the weeping willow. Do not <laughs> hang from the weeping willows. <laughs> Monday grub bag question four. This person said, paraplegic myself, hard to ask for help. Does Shane ever feel bothered by the physical work imbalance? That's a good question. I like yeah. that you specified the physical work. Yeah. Because we have said many times in our life, we split the responsibilities evenly. Yeah. Hannah handling more of the physical stuff and me handling more of the you know, bookkeeping and scheduling and phone calls. Yeah. Um, so, physically, yeah, Hannah obviously does a lot more, like the laundry and the vacuuming and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I won't lie, but there are times when I really wish I could be doing those things, like if Hannah's tired or whatever, mm -hmm. and we have to cook dinner. Uh, I, I help out in the ways that I can by being with her while she does them and, you know, keeping the mood light and funny and conversation. Um, but yeah, I'm not able to do those things. So when I am feeling upset about that, I remind myself, like, okay, I have other responsibilities that I need to handle. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, do them to make myself feel less bad. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I think overall, both of us are happy with how things are split and we both feel like it's even. Yeah. But there's, like, specific moments where I'll be, like, building an Ikea thing. You know, like, I'll be doing something <laughs> yeah. specific that you're like, oh, I wish I could help. But it's not, yeah. like, in the general sense of our relationship that right. you're like, oh, this is uneven. Yes. You know, I think it's very much even unless there's, like, a very specific thing that you're like, I wish I could do that. And as the one, you know, you're the one doing... The more of the physical, I think it's important that you agree that like yeah. overall things are very even. Yeah, and I think we both like the things that we handle. Right, and we're yeah, we're, yeah, we're suited them. for it. Yeah, <laughs> you you love a good laundry fold. Yeah, I don't really want to make a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how tall are you both? Ooh, that's a common common question. We're pretty mismatched. Yes. Hannah, I'll tell you. I'm five ten. She's tall. Tall. Whenever we meet someone in person for the first time, yes. they always say, wow, Hannah, you're way taller than I thought. Every time <laughs> without fail. Yeah, literally. I mean, like... Well, okay, that's not gonna... <laughs> I'm just saying, got a little perspective. <laughs> uh, I am 11 feet tall. No, I am 4 foot 7. Yeah. Which is short. And that's an approximation. That's just sort of someone, the doctor was like, we kind of need a, a number. Yeah. And I mean, they sort of like yeah. ran a. I've been measuring myself in like measure. 20 years. Uh, so that was you at age, <laughs> you at age eight. You might have grown a little. But the thing is, is my, I got a spinal fusion yeah. when I was seven years old, which yeah. means that from seven on, my spine was not able to grow. Yeah. So I have the spine and therefore like trunk. Yeah. I have a seven-year-old. Yeah. Um, Which legs, is why your, your head is much bigger. <laughs> my head is bigger. My legs are pretty long. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a light seat. I got a light seat bottom. Uh, but yeah, I'm four foot seven. And whenever I have to give that info, like over the phone, inevitably they respond, uh, what? I, yeah. What? You're, no. How, how tall are you? Really? I said, how tall are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Will you get any more pets? Oh, that's a cute question. Probably someday. Someday, we. I. I would love to. Like every other day, I'm like Shane. I want a fish. Shane, I want a guinea pig. That's like, not a joke. Yeah, she really does do it all the time. You know, I want any kind of pet. However, it's already a pain to deal with traveling and having Chloe. You know, like when we need to go somewhere for a speaking engagement and she just can't come. Like, luckily we have an amazing dog sitter now, but it's still stressful to like you know leave Chloe behind. Yeah, so, so I leave think, your kid behind. Yeah, yeah, the idea of having another dog to then have to like leave behind because that's realistically like, the, you know, the, the pet that we would get. Yeah. Or trying to find a sitter for a guinea pig. Like, <laughs> so whenever Hannah bring, oh my God, a guinea pig. So whenever Hannah Well, it would be two guinea pigs. They don't like to live alone, so. Whenever Hannah brings up these 
you know, desires to get new pets. I'm always the one that has to say, well, let's remember yeah. that it's uh, tough. Or like, you want to spend, you want to spend a couple months this winter in Los Angeles, so why would we get a fish now? And yeah. I'm like, that's true, it would be hard to bring our fish to Los Angeles. And then she's like, I know, I know. Yeah. But I will say, every once in a while, I say that I want to get a kitten. It's normally like when we go home, back to my parents' house, I mean, yeah. and visit with them, and I see my mom's cat, the cat that I grew up with, yeah. and I'm like, oh, the cats are so lovely. Yeah, but I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, we never get any cat. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I keep telling Shane I would love to foster kittens yeah. because like, you know, I can I can take Benadryl for a while. I'm just not going to commit to a cat for like <laughs> you know, 20 no, years. A lifetime of Benadryl. Yeah, I can't have a lifetime of that, but I'll do it in short spurts. That's but right. I don't he like, doesn't want to do that. I, and, and then I come back to like, no, then we have to get a cat sitter when we go to LA or wherever <laughs> we're going. <laughs> All right, last one. Last question. Monday drug bag, final question. Bonus pick, round. Because I don't know which one we should do. All right, final question, Monday Drug Bag. Hannah, how did you get over your shyness when you started the YouTube channel? Hannah is the biggest introvert I know. And the, But introverted is different than shy. That's I'm true. also that, shy. That's very true. <laughs> Hannah does not like talking. No, I feel very, very <laughs> uncomfortable talking to people. So this is the thing. When we started our channel, I was very uncomfortable talking to a camera. It felt very similar to me talking to a person. Like right. I didn't know what to say. I felt really awkward. It gives her the heebie-jeebies. Yes. Um, is that an offensive word? I don't think so. That, as I said that, I was like, this feels like one of those words that <laughs> you'd be like, that actually is a terrible you've history. You've used forever, but like then you realize, oh, I yeah. hope it's not. I don't think so. Anyway. It reminds me of Halloween. I don't think it's a bad word. She doesn't like talking. No. So anyway, um, the camera at the beginning, we've said it took me like 15 minutes to say, hi, I'm Hannah, correctly, like opening my eyeballs in that first video. Or you would like laugh. You'd be like, I, I would can't la do Yeah, it. like I, I don't do talk it. a lot in our first vlog. I mostly laugh at what you say. Like I was just very uncomfortable. Um, but with practice, the camera became a very easy thing to talk to. It feels like talking to Shane. Like it's just, it feels very, very natural for a while. Like, so that came first, that was fine. However, I couldn't film in front of anyone else. So if like my mom was nearby, yeah. I couldn't talk to the camera. It was like this weird thing. And so with practice, I would do like little bits. I would film Shane in front of other people. It was fine. And very, very slowly, it became yeah. comfortable, and now I'm I'm good to go. It was really a process. Yeah, it took year, like years, probably. And the other thing I'll say is, I think we have both gotten more shy about filming in public just in the last like six months, mm -hmm. as our channels, you know, here on YouTube and on other platforms, have gotten bigger. Something about that. Something about knowing that like many people out in the world know who we are mm. makes filming in public harder because like we'll be walking along the sidewalk yeah. and we'll have an idea to say to the camera but then we'll be like oh like there's a group of people over there well because they might watch us and judge us so many like, times <laughs> we've been filming and people will be like i know you guys which is nice i actually disagree i think that i'm way more comfortable filming in public now do you than before maybe yeah. i'm just more self conscious because now i'm like oh people know that like we're actually doing a job so it's yeah because if someone was to be like that's so like cringy and embarrassing to be filming in public i could be like well we have a youtube channel <laughs> well <laughs> we have 900,000 subscribers like before i would have to be like well this is just for fun <laughs> it's just a hobby <laughs> Yes, it's, we're sending this to our parents. So that's true. Having it as no, our like whatever as our livelihood, yeah, makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, I don't know. I have some, maybe I was wrong about that. Um, but Hannah has come a long, long way. Yeah, from her early days, and it's helped with talking to people. Yeah. I think I've gotten a little bit better. Oh, you're a conversationalist. I wouldn't go that <laughs> far, but I do try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. That's Monday Drug Bag. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed our questions. And submit your own. Submit your own in the comments below. We will do this every Monday, and we will stick to that. We will stick I'm to really that. curious to see how we do. Yeah, we will. <laughs> and Come back is, next Monday. This doesn't mean we're only doing Monday Drug Bag. We'll do other yeah. vlogs. No, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Normal. Um, okay, bye. Bye. So I think our video could probably end here, but I'm going to honor Shane's request to put the setting up footage at the end of the video so let us know how you like it that looks good right
Does that look good? Uh -huh. I wish it was a little bit more wide angle. We should use our other lens. Oh, no. Should we, do we leave the light in our faces? Too dark yeah. on the side? A little bit. I mean, you're supposed to have it like half and half like that, but. I can do that. Keep it a that, little bit. The camera's just like blocking a significant part of my face. Yeah, but I thought that that was the look you wanted. I think I like that better. Is that too bright? What do you think, people? We're struggling. We're struggling.